Hello and welcome to Lokir Felhart's Level Up Guide. Let's just get right into it. Uh, for the traits, he has Krakenlord, which is upkeep minus 50% for Black Arc Corsair units. Attribute cause fear for Corsair units immune to high seas, reef, and storm attrition. So that helps us give us a general idea. So first off, we're going to go Rot Marcher. Of course, Dread Slavers and Infamous Raider. Draft Masters and Mighty Strike. Now, again, you can do what you want here. If you don't want more slaves, you can go for Public Order or for Infamous Raider or Surf or Die. This is how I personally do it. Uh, Lightning Strike is unnecessary. Necessary. By the time you get to this point, you should have unlocked the street, I'm pretty sure. So, Bound by Blood, of course, is useful. It's very simple. What I say first to get is Master of the Blessed Dread and Slaver. Uh, I would say get Master of the Blessed Dread because that's basically plus 5 growth for all of your Black Arcs, which is very useful. Uh, Game Slaver gives you more slaves and gives you reduction of upkeep for all units. And then I say get Patriarch of the Fell Hearts, which will give your lords plus 5 for troop rank, slave costs for sacrifice of Aunt Romia and sacrifice to Mathlan by 75%, and melee attack plus 8 with financing. You're not really going to be financing too much, or shouldn't really be. So if we look at the traits, ah, not the traits, the rights. It is what what rights were it again? It was honor three the map. So if we look at Anthria, is it this one? It's a math line, that's weird. I think it might be just one. And it might be the other black arc one if you it's for when you confederate him. It's the Black Arc one. So the sacrifice, it just gives you campaign movement range plus 20%, income from race settlements plus 50%, Black Arc global plus 10, and settlement sackings. Income from sacking settlements is plus 50%, which is helpful. Kraken Lord. And if it's. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Sacrifice of Mathline is the Black Arc one, so. That is, you're, you have to pay less slaves to get more black arcs, which is very useful. Next, I will say get Maelstrom as his mounts, as that would be helpful. Actually, next, I should say, you should probably finish getting these two things, because uh, upgrading black arc Corsairs isn't really needed, but it is helpful for when you're in lizard territory. Because, funny thing is, against Swords and Skinks, Black Art Corsairs are freaking good. Especially if you get this trait, which will increase the armor piercing da missile damage 100% for Black Art Corsairs and give them more melee attack and more leadership. Um, and this is if you're going up against Lizardmen. And grab this because this will give you stalk for your Corsairs and the attribute of Vanguard deployment. So you can do little sneaky attacks. Um, grab Inspiring Presence, then Raid Leader as Shades and I believe. No, grab Shaftmaster. Shaftmaster is Black Arc, Arc Corsairs, that's right. Raid Leader is just Shades. Of course, grab Raid Leader for Shades. Strength through Sprite, then call the Unworthy for some extra stuff for your Reaper Bolt Throwers and Dark Shards, Ravager Rewards for Black Heart Corsairs, and Shades increases. Kindle Fury. Now, here's the fun part. You get to, of course, get a Ward of King. I mean, we also go down the melee tree. Why? Because he can. So we have so many extra points. So go down that tree. Grab that Leon slot. You should have two more points. 
I would recommend probably grabbing Sadistic because getting three more melee attack is going to be helpful and also increases her weapon strength a little bit. And then grab Wound Maker because even though Internal Hatred technically gets 16% against High Elves, I don't see you going to wanting to go into melee with High Elves. So just get that all around 10%. And there you go. There's Lokir Felhart's tree. Now, I would say a little ending remark. You may not want to get Corsair Noble in the head of the tide. Maybe. And instead of wanting to place those two points, maybe one in Woundmaker and one in Internal Hatred. Or an Express in Speed. But that's how it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something and how to level up your lords. I hope this video will help you in the future of you going to the higher difficulties. This has been me, Kelsey Drake, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.